Good morning, everybody. Cold morning. Walmart. Just doing a little refuel, keep this thing going. Jenny's refueled and on a light load can go up to 12 hours out there running that's kind of why I bought it people keep asking me why did I why didn't just get the 3500 because it's a bigger engine yeah for a generator that's gonna be running all day long I wanted to go as small as possible for fuel savings um, if I want to get the 3500 it would replace the uh, big Jenny on the back but I think I'm pretty happy with these I like them the little 2000 seems to go forever unless I got a dead battery bank that needs to be charged or I got my PC and uh, everything running but yeah I'm really happy with that Predator 2000 it's uh, still running good I had mentioned in a previous vlog I thought it was I thought it had a misfire I thought I needed to go find a new spark plug but uh, that might have just been like the PC doing something it's you hear the generator struggle make a different noise when I when I do things on the PC like from the PC just sitting there and to the PC just uh, editing editing a video takes more power and you can hear that right in the generator when it starts doing it so that pulsating I heard might have been just like a update or something something where the PC was thinking and spinning up the hard drives I don't know but it sounds great do a lucid dream vlog I usually do these on my separate little um, hero 4 little cube camera by GoPro but it's disappeared I don't know where it went um, but anyway lucid dreaming is something I've trained myself to do it's something you can train yourself to do just watch the YouTube video and there's some exercises like looking at your hand and tracing the outline of your hand and trying to go all the way around without something weird happening that never really worked for me. That was a lesson I learned on on the internet. But uh, my biggest thing is flipping switches. That was one of the lessons. Was to flip switches. And then my main favorite thing is to look at my tattoos. They're always gone in the dreams. They're always, always gone. So um, a daily check is just to ask yourself if you're dreaming. Am I dreaming? My tattoos, flip some lights. And that will usually be a good indicator. Well, uh, it's a good habit. You get into that habit, or you make it a habit of doing that, and then you end up doing it in your dream. And then my first um, first lucid dream that I was able to uh, realize on my own, I've had lucid dreams before, like just kind of as a kid, just like, oh, I think I'm dreaming. You know, just a brief instance where I realized I was dreaming. But to actually, practice and train yourself to do it it's like an experiment inside your own mind and it is beyond words it is just mind-boggling my first time lucid dreaming um from practice was flipping a light switch i was at uh at a relative's house sleeping in my bedroom and i woke up i was just doing normal things but then i'm just like Am I dreaming? Flip the light switch and it didn't do anything. The lights wouldn't turn off. It was clicking, clicking, clicking. I look up and there's no lights in the ceiling anywhere. There's no fixtures. Where's the light coming from? There's just light and the switch didn't work. And then I walked over to the mirror. The house was exactly as it was in real life. It was, it was, when you start lucid dreaming, everything is so real. It's just crazy. It's, it makes you doubt that you're dreaming because of how real it is. So anyway, the bathroom's right where it should be. So I'm like, wait a minute. I, no way, you know. First I'm flipping the switches, I'm like, oh, no way. So I walk over 
towards the mirror and my eyes are just bugged out and looking crazy and anyway that's a lucid dream for another time tonight was just it was beautiful I remember the first thing I did was looking at a piece of lint a litter something I do now is like um, tele telekinesis where you move stuff with your mind I always do that in my dreams I love it or I'll jump and see if I can float on my way down I'll and see if I can hold it it's freaking just so much fun so I saw a piece of litter or something just now when I was dreaming and or in my dream just now before I woke up uh, and I just just out of the blue I don't know why it's kind of a smooth transition into realizing I was lucid dreaming You're, normally it's like or my favorite is just to look at my and go oh, I'm dreaming but this was just like hmm I wonder if I can which I never do in the real world you know because it's you know you feel temperature and gravity and this is very solid but in the dream I'm just like hmm let's see if I can just and then the litter piece of litter moves and I'm just like I'm dreaming all right and then I don't know where I got sidetracked but I ended up lucid dreaming again because I go from that memory to or I go from that little scene it's hard to remember dreams they're like this thing that just feels like maybe it's just alien and you can't bring it back or you can't bring all of it back so the memory's faded and I can't remember where the scenes changed but I'm, I'm I shouldn't even call them scenes I was actually there so I go from playing with the litter to being like down at the grass just being blown away you know and there's no time in, in dreaming time is really weird but it seemed like I was down there I can't say for how long, but I was really enjoying it. I really took a lot of time just staring at the grass and just being amazed at how vivid and beautiful it was. It was crazy. Um, a lot of, yeah, then beside the lucid dreaming, there's a lot of vivid moments. You know, these weird dreams about RV towns. Where there's like a normal town. Just imagine a neighborhood, but the houses have been plucked and RVs have been put there. And the only houses remaining are these weird tubes coming out of them, and wires, and everything's connected to like generators or something probably, I don't know. It's just a weird, my neighborhoods are weird in my mind. It's like a town of DIYers came and built a crazy little, just weird little town out of RVs. Uh, but anyway, the lucid dreaming, I'm just so thankful to have those. It's just can't put into words how amazing that is. And it's been a while since I had my last lucid dream, so that was nice. Staring at the grass, using telekinesis. It's, it's faded, I've lost it, but I've kept enough to just know that it was just amazing. So, I slept good. Deep sleep. And lucid dreaming is so amazing if you guys just get the daily practice of uh, just asking yourself am I dreaming and then doing a check and you'll eventually do that in your dream you have a dream about it and you'll just be like hmm where's my tattoos why aren't the lights working where are the lights it's like going off to an alien world and coming back and I just I don't know, have to share it with you guys so dream vlog okay I didn't do a very good job of explaining that um lucid dreaming check that exercise uh, I, well I didn't explain the last part so here's what it looks like uh, I think it's um, the more you do it the better but around three times a day you want to just stop what you're doing and just go am I dreaming and actually ask yourself that actually question it am I dreaming and I check my tattoos they're still there Okay, I'm not dreaming right now. That's the check. You stop three times a day, or as much as you can. If you don't have t tattoos, find some other trick. The light flipping light switches is a good one. Um, that's consistently weird, just like my tattoos not being there. So you stop. Am I dreaming? My tattoos are there. Okay, no, I'm not dreaming right now. Kind of cheesy, but that's how it goes. And you'll eventually do that in your dream. And things just aren't going to be working the way they normally would be. And you're going to be like, oh, I'm dreaming right now. Maybe try jumping. That might be a good one. 
Uh, well, I don't know. I, I just know that when I jump, I float. I float most of the time. I've never, I can't remember a time in a dream where I've jumped and just had a normal jump. It's always kind of a jump and I float a little bit. Or maybe that's because I'm, 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 I remember a gas station one time I wanted to jump and touch the ceiling and I, and I jumped and I got really close and I just kind of floated back down and I looked up and everyone's staring at me like I was a freak. It was great. I was like, whoa, I got superpowers. Um, so yeah, it could be really fun and that's what you do. That's a good exercise and look up how to lucid dream on YouTube. Tons of videos. Uh, it's, it's a blast. It's really weird. Especially when you start flying and using your telekinesis and, uh, I've shifted through walls before. Just, I've never had that idea before, but in the lucid dream, I was like, Hmm, I wonder if I could phase through this wall. And I just kind of, kind of step sideways through it. And at first I kind of hit it and I was like, Oh, come on. It's a dream. I should be able to do whatever I want. And I go right through it and I'm just like, yes. It's crazy. You get superpowers. You get to fly around. Adventures are nuts. And I think it kind of helps with vivid dreams. And vivid dreams are very expansive and long and detailed. And they're great. Lucid dreaming, everybody. Try it out. It's, it'll blow your mind. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.